Hi! Welcome to Self Seeds Through the Eyes of the Horse. As you can see, I'm at the new facility, which is in Palma Valley. I've been here, I think it's a week now, and I'm riding Claire this morning. So what's great about here is that we have places to ride around still, which was also great in the desert. And we have an arena that has jumps in it so that Leslie can get started jumping these different prospects for that world. I'm gonna focus on developing the horse's flat work and Leslie's going to work on developing their jumping ability. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to put our skill sets together and to see what happens. So as you can see, you can start to see the new ranch. All the horses are settling in. And what's great is it's, it's really a lot like the desert in terms of having a place to ride around the outside of the arena and to have things going on, not quite as much stuff going on. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever top having the minis running around, but it's all good. The great thing here too is there's a gate out back, and so I can head out around those fields that you see off in the distance in front of me. There's actually an airport over there, so I, I made an exploration of that, and uh, again, it's, you can see it's a beautiful place. I have the horses in my group of horses. I'm putting them in the corrals off to the right. And so I like to have them have a chance to move around 24 seven. And Leslie has her group where they have stalls and then they can go in the grass field. So I'm taking advantage of these going in areas to move around. It's a big difference from the five acres they were in, but it's all an adjustment. And then they, I also put them out in the grass fields too. So I'm looking forward to what the adventure ahead is going to be. So I'm doing my usual warm up. I'm letting Claire walk quietly, process everything that's going on. I've been riding the horses. They've made a great transition. But it's still a transition, and so it's interesting to study each horse's personality. When you go to a new location, you know, in her case, she was with a, a band of mares, and so this is a big transition for her to be by herself. But she has neighbors, and so she's making friends with her neighbors. Ultimately, she is going to go most likely to a show home. So her life in the five acre field probably is not gonna be her future, even though that is sad, but it's a, it's a reality of the modern horse. The time she's had at Sabelle's has been outstanding for learning to be in a group and to really be able to move out and be, which is fantastic for a young horse. That's our gate out. So I'm just getting walking and I want at this point in her development to just be able to assess her environment, to be willing, to be receptive to my aids. As we make this transition, I need to be the one that's steady. And it's again interesting to see psychologically how well they adjust and and the things that, that still seem to set them off. And she's, she's really quite a brave horse, but they're, you know, being a young horse, there are things she sees every now and then, but, but what I've really liked about her is that she never, well, she doesn't really overreact. I mean, she has opinions, she definitely has opinions, but she doesn't appear to overreact. And then once she has time to process and understand what it is, she, she always seems to make good decisions. The difference to here for me is Leslie has a full 
bunch of jump setups. So when I go in the arena for them to visually get used to seeing the jumps and having that experience, and the colors, the shapes, flowers, things moving. And again, I'm really grateful for the, the opportunity to train them in the desert because there was so much going on. They really learned how to process things probably more than what they'll ever experience at a horse show and just to patiently wade through that. You know, it's interesting as Leslie and I look at, okay, what is the next step if we put our businesses together and we want to focus on the development of young horses. And this part is really crucial for horses to be able to think, not overreact, and to really carry people thoughtfully. And so it's a big, it's a, people that buy made horses, they never understand really how much time goes into this part of the psychology and then in their cases you know undoing pieces inside of their bodies that really limit them from developing to the highest level i'm looking forward to their teeth getting done next week on tuesday and just feeling you know in young horses and older horses they don't get to graze as much so their teeth wear very differently so trying to work with the nature of horses and then our requirements for them to have a bridle on and for them to be able to move their jaw and have a healthy articulation in their their you know in their jaw and in their pole and their neck attachment TMJ and all of that it's a big deal for riding horses so again I've been talking I think most of the time I've had them they've been done by the previous owner but I'm looking forward to having them being done again it's time it's been a year or so and my my favorite 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 dentist is coming out so I'm excited to I'm gonna go ahead and have all the horses done it's a learning all the time and then as Leslie and I go forward our goal is to put 60 days together collaboration on the horses and see where we are. I mean, they may sell before the 60 days, but then we'll have a clear understanding. They'll be well started over the fences. She's going to ride the horses a couple days a week. I'm going to take advantage of that and practice my filming and we'll continue to have educational videos about the development of the horses in their process of jumping and I will be developing my skill set for videoing so again I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing with self seats through the eyes of the horse I can have Leslie also wear the GoPro so you can have a perspective from jumping and so as you can see Claire is taking it all in just moving on I'm in a different location but you can see she's continuing to get straighter, stronger, obedient. Top line is getting better and better. Rhythm is developing. So good news for the continuing development of Claire.